hello everyone welcome back to the tableau tutorials in this video we are specifically going to see that how can we work with multiple tables in tableau so what happens in tableau is that we uh, got to import the table or the data sources and then work with it so far we have seen in the previous videos that how can we work with a single table but in this video we are going to focus on multiple table how are we gonna import the multiple tables how are we gonna attach them with one another and then finally how are we gonna work with it okay so the two tables i'm going to take is the orders table and the returns table these both are part of the sample superstore database which is provided as a sample in tableau itself so no matter what tableau you are using either it is tableau desktop or tableau public you will be getting the sample data set for yourself. All you need to do is go to the documents in the Tableau repository and you would be able to work with it. Okay. So uh, once you have got it, you can just get the orders uh, table over here or whatever table you just drag over here, you would be able to see its glimpse like this. This is my orders table. Next I have is the returns table. So returns table, if I just go into this, this would show me a, a glimpse of the database so there are a total of 800 rows in this returns table that means out of the 10,000 orders that were placed in this orders table if you go into this orders table it will show the number of rows as 9994 which is approximately 10,000 so a total of 10,000 orders were placed out of which 800 orders were returned okay so we want to just connect these two because uh, we are getting a common id or common field in it which is the order id like the order id which was returned so we have the value yes in the returned that means the order ids that were returned total of 800 orders were returned okay so we are going to connect these two tables i have already got orders over here now let's just work with the return table so if you want to work with multiple tables you got to drag all the tables into this section and then tableau will automatically relate them like you can see there is a red line over there if you just go over there there is this relationship that has been shown to you that automatically takes any of the uh, values or any of the common fields that are available between the two and connects them together okay in case it does not do it automatically then you can do that manually as well this is the orders table in this you have to select the uh, id or uh, the column which you want to connect with then this equal sign with the second tables corresponding column so uh, it will automatically perform the operation right then once it's done you can close it now what do we have is uh, we have this if you just see that right now returns is selected so the returns values are being shown and if you just select this orders table so orders values or the orders data would be shown to you okay now we can go to our sheet to start working on this particular data set now you see uh, we have organization on the basis of the tables uh, present over here like we have got this returns over here so this is the values of the returns table that is order id and the return value okay and this all is the orders value or from the orders table so suppose you want to find out that how many uh, things were returned or how many orders were returned we have uh, generated this column that's returns count you can just get it into the text and that is 800 orders were returned okay suppose we want to combine the data of these two operations like if i get the subcategory into the columns and the sales into the rows so what i would be getting is a chart that how many uh, sub uh, what was the order of each subcategory right suppose i want to find out that what order of each subcategory was returned so how can i do that i can get this order id and uh, get it into here so here we would be getting these different subcategories like phones etc so instead of the order id what i can do is i can get a measure that is the count of the order id so it would give me the count of uh, uh, the order id in each subcategory which were returned so in the case of fasteners uh, 94 were returned in the case of furnishings 242 were returned let us just change it into the form of a table so that we get a better view at it let's just go into the entire view option over here now now uh, what we can see is that uh, what is the uh, amount that was uh, what is the number of the orders of each subcategory that was returned right 
now if i just try to remove the sales from the measure values so we are just getting the count of the uh, order id in each subcategory that was returned uh, and a total of um, how many uh, orders were returned like this okay like in accessories 185 in appliances 137 etc however in the case of uh, category suppose let's just create a hierarchy let's just get category and the subcategory as well so we would be getting uh, in each category how many orders were returned okay let's just get category as well as subcategory uh, so now this is a visualization of a map a symbol map which uh, makes use of the state data now here i have used the returned parameter that means whichever these states are marked right now uh, with a the blue color these are the ones uh, from which the orders have been returned there are a few states from where no orders have been returned like uh, wherever these pins are not available in the rest of the states at least one order has been returned so what do i do i have used this return value and the state value similarly you can use the different values for generating different kinds of visualizations right like uh, suppose uh, you want to find out the segment wise data of the orders that were returned so we can just get the return value over here or the sorry let's get the segment wise sales so this is the segment wise sales if i just get returned into the filters so only the yes values must be there click on okay and this tells us the total sales after the returns have been uh, removed from them if i just removed remove it so you see the values have changed a little bit okay to get a better view at it let's just click on entire view make sure the labels are all on so let's just use this option over here to get the labels this is the amount without the return values however if i apply the return into the filters that only those were returned so this is the amount of the uh, total sales uh, segment by sales that was returned if you want to uh, just like this find out the subcategory by sales that was returned the amount you can just get in over here and this would give you the whole amount out of it if you just want a total value you can just change it into a table and that would uh, uh, give you a total amount as well so uh, what you can do is just take a look at the sum of sales which is hundred and eighty thousand dollars and uh, uh, hundred and eighty thousand five hundred and four dollars that is the total amount that was returned total amount of the orders that was returned so this is how you can use multiple tables in tableau to get the data out of it right now uh, suppose you want to get a value of the totals in this particular table then what you can do is uh, go to this uh, analysis part uh, here we have this totals option and you can just go to the uh, column grand totals okay so this is the grand total uh, that is the value the total value of the objects that were returned if you don't want uh, this uh, sales amount you suppose want the count of the order id that is how many were returned okay let's just remove this sales uh, or let's just uh, do both okay get this uh, into the text part so this is getting messy right click over here go to measure and go to count so this is giving me the sales value as well as how many were returned okay or what we can do is get them into the columns just like this and convert it into a table so as to get a different columns over here right that is the total of a hundred uh, okay so again the totals column is not being shown let's just go to columns grand total total of 800 items were returned and this was the sales amount that is um a clear cut distinction between the two you can just go with the entire view for a better view at uh, both of these things okay uh now uh just like this you can use multiple fields from the orders table to get the data of the return table to be depicted in a more uh, good fashion so that's all for this video and uh, thanks for watching the video in which we learned how can we combine the two different tables in tableau and how can we use the common characteristics of the tables to depict the data of uh, from one table to another so that's all for this video and uh, thanks for watching